so I just arrived at Kanazawa Station. I'm right outside. And my first impressions are Kanazawa has a unique smell to it. For some reason, as I'm walking, I smell like burning wood. Or is it like vehicle exhaust? Okay, so I think I found a park where I can potentially fly my drone because this sign right here has very specific uh, rules. It says no littering, no dogs, no skateboarding, no golf, no sports, no fire, no fetch, no flower picking, but it doesn't say anything about drones. Hi, Hitori. So I just got out of the Nomura clan samurai home. It was nice. I really liked the garden. I really liked the little rooms that they had upstairs and the view to the garden from those rooms. I just thought it was a little bit small. I paid 550 yen and I was there for like 15 minutes maybe. And I was probably only there that long because I was taking video. If you don't take any pictures, you could probably see it in five minutes. All right, so I want to check this place out. I have no idea what it is. I had no intention of going in, but this is what sold me. It says Creative Life Store. I have no idea what that means. So it just turned out to be some sort of novelty store. Well, not even a novelty store. It had a lot of books and pens and uh, writing instruments and notepads. And then it had like board games, exercise equipment, uh, electronics. I'm, I'm not really sure what the category is. I, I guess the category would be creative life store. Interesting, now I wanna check out this Korean town. Not Korea town, Korean town. Le Grill, what the hell is that? So I'm out here in the countryside and I almost missed my train exit. This is the stop that I needed to get off at in order to visit my friend Amanda. It's about an hour away from the city. No foreigners, I was probably the only foreigner on the train. I paused my Mario game. Yes, I was playing Mario on the DS uh, as I was on the train waiting. Uh, and I checked my phone and I saw the people, a lot of people getting off and I was like, huh, what station is this? And sure enough, it was my station. So I had to hurry up and grab all my belongings and run out before the doors closed and it took me somewhere else to the boonies, who knows where. Okay, so I'm slightly tripping out because there's not a single, there's very few people on the street as it is. Not a single uh, non-Japanese person. The Japanese people that I walk by keep staring at me. Uh, and uh, I'm almost there. And it looks like I know where I'm going, but I'm not super confident. I feel like I'm going to be lost. I'm going to end up in the wrong place. Um, yeah, this is freaking super quiet. Nice sunset, actually. Yeah, it's crazy to think that Amanda moved over here. She's got no other friends. Well, I guess she does. She's going to introduce me to them. Okay, I'm lost. I took a dead end street, so I'll get back to you. Okay, so as I was saying earlier before I got lost, um, yeah, like the roads are super well maintained. It almost looks like a gated community. And then everyone's so friendly. Like uh, I said hi to two little kids and they just said really, oh shit, I gotta pay attention because there's a road right next to me. I just said konnichiwa and they like really, you know, really nice voice said it in return.
and in her oh hold on. She's Amanda's texting me. This is so good. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Feels so fancy. Oh, it's a video. Sure. All right, party people. So I didn't record much because it was my first time meeting everybody, and I didn't want to stick a camera in all their faces. Yeah, it was fun. Um, I'm about to head over to my place, but I first have to. Uh, go to the laundromat all right party people so I'm at the laundromat uh, luckily there's some English but I'm not quite sure if uh, the if the laundry detergent is already included uh, I asked the Japanese man in Japanese uh, I just said laundry detergent and then he said something and he pointed at the machine so I'm assuming it's already included uh, it's pretty pricey though, 1,000 yen, that's about 10 bucks. It says they accept card. Uh, prepaid or prepaid card. I don't think I have a prepaid card, so... Uh, maybe I could buy one. Oh, never mind, I can get change here. I'll just break a thousand. Unfortunately, there's signs everywhere that say no pictures or videos, so I'm very limited on what I can show you. So I'm gonna just mostly record myself and maybe you can see some stuff in the background. <laughs> so I'm eating a baby scallop and it's um, it's in what sauce is this? It's like the Odango sauce. Okay. It's like savory with soy sauce. So maybe Odango sauce. It's really good. What, what do you recommend? I would get this before this. Uh, so we just got a, I got a sea urchin. Amanda got a... Scallops. Scallops. Yes. Um, and this is the little table that they provided for us to eat because we're not allowed to walk and eat. You want a picture with your uni? Oh, a picture with my... Uni? <laughs> sure. For your interior style, you're right. Their English is pretty good. Doll Museum. <laughs> uh, they got theirs. My matcha I'm being prepared right now. So we just finished the geisha experience. They gave you some sweets, they gave you some matcha tea, they had a live performance, they had some singing. There was only a few people, so it gave you a chance to really get involved. Everyone got a chance to participate. They asked you where you're from and had a little bit of a conversation with you. And yeah, then took pictures with everyone. 